Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked battles. As you guys can see here, my current record is 8 and 3 for season 4. I've been playing a couple games uh, off camera, but then also the day I'm recording this, I actually had a, an electric type gym challenge stream where for my electric gym, uh, I hosted the stream so people could try to join it and battle me. And uh, at the beginning of that stream, I actually did, uh, no one was in the stream yet, so I just did a regular. Like one of these games and i got a a nice victory in there and then i had a ghost the ghost gym leader the phantom michael he came over and challenged my gym and i was able to beat his team barely and then i had one challenger come over and i was able to beat them and it was a good time today so i am uh i'm just hoping to keep that good time alive right here in today's video so what do you guys say we ready to get into this we're recording right all the audio is going is the mic audio going let me just check obviously it is for you guys all right so, let's see, we have a Sylvalia, and then this Lucario. I haven't seen a Lucario beat up in a while. We've found those fake out. There's a lot of fire on this team. So, what I think I want to do is lead Grimmsnarl and Dragapult. And then I want to have Gastrodon in the back with... Man, it's going to have to be Rotom. Rotom will have to be in the back. I can't do Corviknight against so many Fire-type Mons. And Lucario knows fighting moves. Well, I guess that's just neutral. But, nonetheless, this is a different team for sure. Definitely a different team. It's actually weird that they brought the Weavile with so many fire types. Like, are you not going to set up a sunny day? We'll see. We'll see, though. Weavile and Colossal is going to be the lead. I just feel like there's going to be some kind of crazy shenanigans that's going to be happening. I mean, there has to be. There's no way that this isn't some weird strat. With the Weavile and Colossal lead, this has to be a G-Max Colossal, right? I'm just going to... I could go for the Thunder Wave and hope that they get paired. I think, though, the play is just to go for a Light Screen here. I don't know. Is Colossal a physical attacker or a special attacker, though? I'm just going to go for the Light Screen, I guess. And then what sucks is Weavile is Ice-type, right? Yes. And I don't really want to get Ice Beam or anything like that. But at the same time... You know, I'm going to stay in for this turn. I'm going to stay in for this turn. Just because I don't think that this Ice-type Weavile is going to have anything that can hurt me too bad. Especially, I've, I'm a Salt Vested. I knew Colossal was going to die. Probably G-Max. Can Colossal G-Max in VGC yet? Or whatever. Whatever the, this rule is called. Let's see here. What are you going to do? I'm going to go for the Light Screen. I should have. I kind of wanted the Thunder Wave, but the Light Screen is guaranteed. Where the Thunder Wave is a chance. For one, it's a ch chance of hitting, and then two, it's a chance that it actually um, paralyzes. Okay, here we go. Weakness policy, Colossal. Oh, Steam Engine. Probably weakness policy too. Yeah. That's lame. Very lame. So, let's see. Max Flare onto the Dragapult. Oh, on the Grimmsnarl. What a weird... What a weird play to do that on Dragapult. Like, actually... What a weird play to do that on Dragapult. So, what we're going to do here is Thunder Wave. Wait. Can, is Colossal... What typing is Colossal? Rock. Okay, I can... I can Thunder Wave you. Can we just Thunder Wave the Colossal? And then... Do we want to Dynamax? Or to lower his attack, lower their defense stat. I don't really have too many physical attackers. I don't really want to Dynamax. I guess here I just go for the Shadow Ball on the Weavile just to guarantee a hit. I think that's the play. Just guarantee the hit on the Weavile. I got the Thunder Wave off, which of course the avoided attack. Man, if I would have got that Paralyze off. Dang, that's what I was saying off that first turn. Like, Thunder Wave is a 90% accuracy, not 100. Which is just so annoying. Now, the only problem here with this Weavile being taken out is I don't know what they're going to bring. I kind of... I mean, I could bring Gastrodon, Gastrodon and... Uh, do Max Geyser. Set the rain. That might actually not be a bad play. That might not actually be a bad play at all to do that. Let's do that. 
Let's set the rain. Ooh, charge right? Yeah, I definitely want to set the rain here. Rotom would have been nice too, but I like this play a lot. So now what we want to do, we max geyser here into the Colossal. And then we want to... The attacks recall loses the user special attack. I want to do that. This could lower their special attack. So I'm going to Shadow Ball the Charizard here. I don't want to double up just in case there's a, like a max guard that comes out. Okay, withdrew the Charizard. And sends out Silvalli, Sil Sil which is this... Uh, a lame mon, honestly. I mean, so Valley, like a mon where you can just give it any memory, make it any typing. Like, whatever. I just really, 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 really want to win this. I really want to win this. So Gastrodon, obviously, is going to be going last. But that's okay. Klaus goes for the max rock fall onto the Gastrodon. Okay, onto the Dragon Ball. I'm assault vested, so I'm good there. He wants the sand stream, which is fine by me. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna make it rain anyway, so we're good. Oh, and this colossal is going before my dragon bolt too. Sil Valley, and there we go, Max Geyser. This is gonna be good for me, especially now that it's not sunny. This is gonna do a little bit extra damage because it's not actually sunny anymore. It's not sunny anymore. So I know obviously the rain is not good for my, obviously for my Rotom, right? But the goal here is just to keep everything I have alive for as long as possible. This is going to raise our special defense. And I think I want to do that over any more water right now. Do I want to do that? Actually, let's just go ahead and take advantage. Ah, oh, man. Now I want to raise my special defense, I think. Because I think it's going to knock out the Colossal regardless. I really think it will. And then we can... We want a Draco. Draco the Silvalli. Let's just Draco the Silvalli. Let's get some big damage on that Silvalli. He's going to go for Ancient Power. I'm going to live that. Big live on that. I just need this Draco to land. Thank you. That's going to do some big damage to Silvalli right here. Oh, not quite the knockout, though. This is still fine, though. Uh, Multi-attack. I don't even know what that is, but it hurt a lot. I lived, though, which is cool. I did live. And there we go. Colossal is now off the field. So now you have Charizard. And that's it, right? Charizard and Silvalli. Silvalli's down to 1 HP. And I know my Dragon Ball outspeeds the Silvalli. And then I can just max Geyser on this Charizard. Bada bing, bada boom. This looks like a... Like like it's going to be a wrap. Max Geyser the Charizard. Shadow Ball the Silvalli. I think this is going to be a wrap here. And then worst case scenario, Rotom has to come out. And I have Thunderbolt for that Charizard. So this is looking to be a wrap, dude. I've had a good day of Pokemon. So far today, I am undefeated in Pokemon. Assuming I do win this game. Dragon Pulse onto the Dragapult, which is fine. Not going to live that, which is A-OK. -okay. Rotom comes out now, which I don't even have to worry about the rain anymore because you're a fire type, and I have Thunderbolt, and Max Geyser might just do the trick here with rain and a Dynamax Gastro. I mean, it just does the trick. I mean, guys, today I've had a phenomenal day of some Pokemon, and we are just keeping that going. Holy cow. It's been a good day. Guys, it feels good to get some Dubskis in Pokemon. Especially because I posted so many videos in a row where I was losing. And also, like my first or second stream with the Electric Gym, I lost all my matches in one day. So it feels good. Let's just go ahead. Oh, he had the G-Max Charizard. And he went for the Colossal and said Grass, Sylvalia, Memory. Okay, so what is multi-attack? So why was that super effective? The memory hull determines the move type. Okay, that's why. And it's 120. Wow, that is a broken mon. That is a busted mon. So Valley is busted, dude. Lucario. Final Gambit is a move that I hate. The user risks everything to attack its target. The user faints but does damage equal to its HP. Yeah, I've ran into that before. 
This Colossal had Rapid Spin, but I'm not playing single, so we're good there. And then, yeah, the Weavile had beat up. Yeah, so this guy, he had set up for a lot of plays. He could have beat up Lucario. He had G-Max Charizard, and he had Weakness Policy. Colossal, he, I actually like the way his team is set up. Like, he had it set up, so no matter what he's facing, he has some kind of, like, I'm going to call it a gimmick, but that's just because I can't think of a better word. But he has, like, some kind of, like, strategy. There you go, strategy for whoever he's facing. But otherwise, we still beat him down. Thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.